Hello kids, Daddy's here. Right now, Daddy will show you a South Korean historical romance film from 2010, titled The Servant. Prepare your snacks to feel the cringe and crunch. Be a good kid and subscribe to Daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. The film starts with Bang Ya, 30 years old servant. Mr. Ma, an elderly guy, is his roommate. Mr. Ma is an expert in women things. He even tries to seduce his servant. Bang Jaw's master is a rich man named Mong Ryong. One day, he sees a stunning woman named Chun Hyong for the first time. All of the men fell in love with her right away. Bang Ya is no exception, and he is completely smitten by her. Mong Ryong directs him to arrange a meeting with her on his behalf. So, he does what he is told. He begins to praise his master in front of Chun Hyong. His master, however, rushes in and slaps him all in the name of impressing Chun Hyong with his manliness. Suddenly, one of Chun Hyong's admirers enters the room, attempting to irritate Mong Ryong. As a result, Bang Ya defeats him, and just as he is ready to finish him, more people arrive, saving the admirer. At home, Mr. Ma thinks Bang Ya is too honest and simple-minded to get a girl. As a result, he begins to teach him how to be a Chad. The next day, Bang Ya uses his training on Chun Hyong's handmaiden, Hyong Dan, and sets up a meeting between their two masters. The two servants begin to bond while the two masters are on their date. Chun Hyong slips and loses her shoe into the stream. Bang Ya dive in and retrieve it. In front of his master, he hands her shoe like a chad. When Chun Hyong sprains her ankle, he carries her home. One day, when Bang Ya is carrying their master's belongings, his master boasts about winning Chun Hyong's affection. Furthermore, he states that he is considerably superior than Bang Ya in terms of status and does not regard him as a rival. Bang Ya returns home and tells Mr. Ma that he wants to win Chun Hyong's heart before his master. As a result, Mr. Ma continues to teach him the next lesson, how to be a Chad. As a result of the lesson, Bang Ya is able to get near to Chun Hyong. Back at home, Mr. Ma informs him that Chun Hyong has written a letter to his master. A romantic letter, dictated by her mother. Mong Ryong accepts his invitation and spends time with her at her house. That night, Mr. Ma assists Bang Ya in sneaking into Chun Hyong's room. Chun Hyong screams in terror, but Bang Ya calms her down. They begin to converse, and he kisses her in the middle of it. At first, she attempts to reject him, but he is a touch pushy, and she is unable to restrain herself. That night, they make love. Regardless of her feelings for Bang Ya, Chun Hyong still want to marry a wealthy man. She later claims that her mother had asked her to do this. The next day, Bang Ya visits Mr. Ma to learn everything he can from him in order to permanently win Chun Hyong. He's ready to take being a Chad to the next level. One day, Mong Ryong orders Bang Ya to steal a letter in which his master declares his intention to marry Chun Hyong. So Bang Ya tries to steal the letter that night. Chun Hyong, on the other hand, intervenes. She gives him the paper herself when she learns that Mong Ryong is leaving her. Bang Ya claims he will return after a brief trip to Seoul. She vows to be there when he arrives. He goes to Mong Ryong and delivers him the letter. However, it turns out that the letter is a different one in which Bang Ya confesses to spending the night with Chun Hyong. He has also stated that he will use his palm print as a binding signature to assist his master in marrying Chun Hyong. Mong Ryon discharges Bang Ya from duty without explanation the instant he finds this proof of his servant's insubordination. As a result, Bang Ya is spirited to work for Chun Hyong's mother. He continues to see Chun Hyong on a regular basis, despite her mother's disapproval. She has begun to fall for Bang Ya as well. Meanwhile in Seoul, Mong Ryong passes his exam and is appointed as a royal inspector. However, he taunts the royal eunuchs on the day of his graduation. The royal court is enraged, and Mong Ryong is demoted to a menial position in his hometown. Assisting the regional magistrate in his duties, his boss, the magistrate, explains that he's a typical simp who only wants to sleep with women. Mong Ryong comes at his hometown and stops at a bustling restaurant for a bite to eat. This establishment's owner, Hyong Dan, is doing quite well. She tells him about Bang Ya and Chun Hyong's relationship. They begin to converse, and the conversing leads to lovemaking. Mong Ryong, on the other hand, is still enraged by Bang Ya. He approaches the magistrate and informs him of Chun Hyong's whereabouts. 
If necessary, he tells him to take her forcefully. He then proceeds to Chun Hyang's house. Bang Ya is there and tells him with a menacing tone that because Mong Ryong left her, he should stay out of her life. Mong Ryong does meet Chun Hyang in secret later on. She wears a huge smile on her face after meeting him, which Bang Ya sees. One night, the magistrate comes to Chun Hyang's house that night. When Bang Ya serves him, the magistrate takes advantage of the chance to inquire about Chun Hyang. He claims she is ill, but the magistrate insists on hearing Chun Hyang sing. He becomes abrasive. Chun Hyang enters at that very moment and informs him, shyly, that she is unable to sing today. As a result, the magistrate instructs her to pour his drink. Chun Hyang protests that she is not anyone's servant, to which the magistrate responds by slapping her. Bang Ya pulls him aside and begs him to leave her alone. Instead, the magistrate vents his rage on Bang Ya, beating him with a kettle. He then orders Chun Hyang to be apprehended. So, with no other choice, Bang Ya approaches Mong Ryong and begs for his help. He then goes to the jail and promises Chun Hyang that despite having little external support, he'll be able to get her out soon. She sobs and hugs him. The next day, the magistrate imprisons Chun Hyang like a prisoner. When Bang Ya walks into the courtyard, he implores him to release Chun Hyang. The guards beat him up to keep him under control. The royal inspector and his agents arrive shortly after. It's Mong Ryong who never truly demoted. It was all a ruse to get the crooked magistrate arrested. Bang Ya is unable to stand by and intervenes. He gets down on his knees and informs him that she has a husband. Mong Ryong then asks is Bang Ya is the spouse. No, replies Chun Hyang, he is merely a servant. Mong Ryong then begins to hit Bang Ya. So, she pulls out Mong Ryong's letter, in which he once stated his intention to marry her. She believes the man who wrote it betrayed her and that if he returns, they should hand over the letter to him. Mong Ryong tears up as he realizes Chun Hyang has been waiting for him the whole time. Later, Chun Hyang visits Bang Ya, who has been arrested. She confesses that it was all a deception by her and Mong Ryong to apprehend the corrupt magistrate. But Bang Ya knew about this back when she hugged him in the jail. As a result, she inquires as to why he still intervened. Bang Ya merely responds that he was concerned for her safety, fearing that the magistrate would do something horrible. Her eyes well up with tears as she hears this. Finally, he expresses his feelings for her. She walks away without saying anything. Later, she and Mong Ryong depart for the capital. She tells him that she wants Bang Ya to accompany them before they go. Mong Ryong is obviously hesitant, but she persuades him by threatening to divulge their deception. When picnic, Mong Ryong strikes the ball too hard. Bang Ya is dispatched to fetch it. When he returns, he discovers Mong Ryong has shoved Chun Hyang into the creek below. Bang Ya leaps in without hesitation. He rescues her and flees with her. She survived the tragedy, but her brain was damaged, and she now acts like a little girl as a result. Bang Ya enlists the help of a novelist to write a story about this. The novelist says he'll write a story called The Love of a Servant, in which Bang Ya would play the title character. But Bang Ya disapproves and instructs the novelist to beautify the story. He claims that Chun Hyang has always waited for Mong Ryong and wanted happily ever after with him after all these years. The novelists inquire as to why Chun Hyang wants to spend the rest of her life with Mong Ryong, according to Bang Ya. He would have loved to finish her fairy tale. He himself is happy to be a hero in his own heart. As a result, he requests that the story be titled, The Story of Chun Hyang. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.